Cancel Court is an improv comedy show. Some opinions and statements are exaggerated for entertainment purposes. The views expressed on Cancel Court are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of Defiant Digital or their respective affiliates or employees. Basically, we're going to piss a lot of people off, but fuck it. Cancel Court with Judge Tony Towns. In this episode, the trial of Takashi 69. He's the biggest artist in the game. Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now, let's go to the courtroom. In this quarter, the prosecution. Still undefeated with one win and zero losses. Welcome back, Chris Powell, a.k.a. CP. And in this quarter, the defense. His case is tight, just like his jacket. Say hello to Ryan Davis. Come to order. Cancel Court is now in session with Judge Tony Towns. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today to determine if rapper, lace front wig wearing social media star Takashi69, AKA Daniel Hernandez, should be canceled. We have Mr. Chris Powell, AKA CP, represent the prosecution and defense represented by Mr. Ryan Davis. Uh, Mr. Powell, uh, I'm all about that go green, Spartan green. I hear you're a Spartan. Is that true? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. On the banks of the Red, Red Cedar. Cedar. You know how it goes. <laughs> don't get me started. Don't get me started. Ah, that's my alma mater. Yeah, they don't know nothing about that. <laughs> oh, man, man. Ah. All of that to lose to a nigga who dropped out of community college. Can we start? <laughs> With that, we shall proceed. Both sides will present factual evidence that will help the jury determine the verdict of this case. I expect that both parties have done their homework and uh, I expect you to present the case and evidence actually fairly and square. The prosecution and defense will have opening statements, then the battle will begin. We will end with closing arguments. Once completed, the jury of the peers will decide the fate of Mr. Uh, Takashi 69 with a clear judgment. What are the rules in my court? There are no rules. That's the beauty of my job here today, is to press for the truth. Justice shall reign. Bring that fire and bring that heat. I want to see jaws dropping and panties as well. Are we clear? clear. Good. We'll start with the uh, defense. Please begin with your opening statement. Thank you, Judge. I'm going to be honest. When I first heard that they wanted to cancel Sakashi 69 I was like, who? <laughs> exactly. And that will be the basis of my defense. You see, <laughs> the first time I heard the name Daniel Hernandez was when you said it. And I think to cancel something means to no longer fuck with. How can you no longer fuck with something you never fucked with in the beginning? <laughs> I'm sure the prosecution is gonna come up and tell you a bunch of reasons not to fuck with him. But I want you to remember your initial response. Who? <laughs> he wants you to find out who not to fuck with just to not fuck with him. And let's not do extra work today. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Ryan Davis. Mr. CP? Always a treat, Your Honor. Um... First of all, to the prosecution, I want to say congratulations. I realize that for you to get this far, dropping out of community college, I'm sure that it was all a dream. Use three word of magazine. <laughs> Salt, pepper, heavy D in the, in the limousine. You have pictures on your wall. Every Saturday. <laughs> Rap attack, Mr. Magic. Marley Mall. Marley Mall. Yes. Now, <laughs> one thing I learned in college at Michigan State. Yeah, absolutely was how to recognize a threat. Now, what happens is in hip hop, we have what I like to call the spectator and the player. A spectator comes to the game after the practice has been done, the work is done. You have the respectful spectators, like the ones that sit in their seat and shut the fuck up, watch the game. Then you got the other spectators who think they can play, 
right? These are little fat motherfuckers that go to the gym in LA Fitness, Euro stepping. <laughs> Why? Because they don't belong in the fucking game. See, what we have to do is erase a fucking stain from the rap game that does not belong in the game. Child pornography, family endangerment, snitching. We make the rules about what's going on in our society. We gotta stop letting motherfuckers in because they disappoint us every single time. You don't get to benefit off of our culture when you break the fucking rules. You were invited. So that's all I gotta say. Let's get it going. Mr. Davis, those were some very powerful <clears throat> words. Oh, he's done. Yeah. Okay. He's Go ahead. <laughs> He's, he's done for yes. now. Yes, go ahead. Um, Sorry, Your Honor. I yeah, thought you were smiling. That's that thing in the back of your head. I thought you was grinning like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I, I have two smiles because I, I understand I how yeah, easy you this is going to be. You ain't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, Did you hear the one from the back of the neck about the, you be cracking up. Like. Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. Order in the court. Mr. Ryan Davis, you have any rebuttals? to his statements. Oh, man, there were so many. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's the point of this, this law, I know. abundance. I know, I just feel like you gave away your whole argument now. Now you have nothing to stand on. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you, you'll be it's surprised. It's okay, it's okay, it's my turn. I oh, wish you would stop let the let, let the record show that if this was his argument, he's saying that it would be over, but I have a, a, an abundance. Yeah, I can tell. Mm -hmm. You know, you won't even wait for me to make my points. I'm sorry. Jesus. I'm sorry. Uh, which one do you want me to attack first, the snitching? The snitching, that's, that's your shit, right? Snitching? <laughs> Small, but yeah. Yeah, I know. We'll take it. <laughs> um, that's funny, man. I, I watch a lot of YouTube. You watch YouTube? I'm sure you watch YouTube. I do. I do. I'm busy doing law. Yeah, yeah. That's funny, because <laughs> I, I didn't even feel the need to prepare for you today. There is a reason I was watching YouTube. There's a video where Suge Knight, see, I don't have to explain who that is. Daniel Hernandez, no one still. You see that? Yeah. Suge Knight. <laughs> He was talking about Snoop Dogg. We know who that is too. Suge Knight said that Snoop Dogg, after he beat the murder charge, also had some other charges come up where he was found guilty pretty much, but he didn't do any time. Suge Knight said the only way Snoop was able to do that is if he what? Had snitched, which is crazy because that would mean Suge Knight is snitching on Snoop Dogg for snitching. If anything, snitching is more rap culture than making beats. Suge Knight didn't even do that. <laughs> so what is Takashi 6 ix contribution to rap? What's your favorite 6 9 song, people? Nothing? Okay, that's <laughs> crazy. Uh, a line, a verse, anyone? No because he's not a rapper. He's an internet troll. Mm. And to make it seem like an internet troll is a part of hip hop culture is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, if he's part of the hip hop culture, then everybody in the comments of World Star Hip Hop is a record label. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not be ridiculous. Nothing further, Your Honor. Look out, CP. Ryan Davis did not come to fuck around. Cancel Court will be right back. Question for sure, you, Mr. Sure. <laughs> now, one of the things that was brought up in this court was child pornography. Yes. It was entered into evidence and it was in reference to your client yes. being a predator and he was guilty and being sued and all those other things. He has other court cases I'm sure that you're fighting. My question to you is, is that what does your client have to say to those citing, you know, child pornography in the black community? We hate that. And in prisons, most people get their asses kicked when touching little kids. Yes. But it seems that this guy is still roaming free on the streets. What would you say to that? I'm interested in your thought for your client. The reason, the reason, and I believe that the reason my client hasn't received any repercussions 
for the child pornography because no one knows who the fuck he is. <laughs> It didn't even make the news. <laughs> That's a good point. Thank you, Yana. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to bring up the fact that the defense says that nobody even knows who Takashi is, right? He's as much of an artist as the comments in World Star dot com or whatever he their their comments you know hey CP did you used to be a host of a TV show your honor I would like that stricken from the record please no I, tell him the name of the show CP. very valid point I will allow thank you sure uh, the World Star TV was the show that <laughs> but all of a sudden you don't know what World Star is <laughs> amazing <laughs> <laughs> amazing I didn't know what World Star <laughs> <laughs> it's the okay. defense meant as my far apologies. as I shouldn't have the been there, no, there, there were no comments on my shot. I give it up for uh, this. He, he like he owned all the furniture stores in um, <laughs> in the southeast Los Angeles area. All the upholstery is, is he's they like upholstery. So listen, Takashi Six Nine was Billboard's number one selling artist 2019, 2020. He beat out Drake for a couple of weeks. Drake had to take his title back from Takashi. I don't know any other world star comment people that did that. What I will say is this, the problem is not whether or not the defense knows who Takashi is, because I don't think you're the target age group. Um, but your grandkids, your grandkids are. <laughs> the youth are. The example that he set is not falling on you. And that's just the typical Republican black man mindset that you have where it's like, it doesn't affect me, so I don't see it. Well, that's not what Cancer Court is about. Uh, we're, we're dealing with real facts, with the real culture. And the bottom line is that he's affecting the youth, making them think they're trolling and, and, and doing things that, you know, hey, these kids can't afford security. Kids can get killed doing stuff that he does because he thinks it's a game. He wants to be the real life joker, right? It'll be a joke. Somebody got to hold his little ass, though. <laughs> see, the example that he's setting is in direct conflict to the whole structure that hip hop was built on. So if he is allowed to keep continuing selling records, beating Drake, beating whoever the fuck you like, I'm sure Tribe Called Quest or Big Brother or something like that. <laughs> what does that say for the holy grail that is hip hop? Do we simply not cancel what you don't know about? Even though it's hurting the youth? I believe you, you asked well, what was one of his lyrics. Oh, I believe it was a uh, Fifi got that Fifi stupid. I apologize. Uh, was that English? <laughs> <Your Honor? laughs> it's something that you don't deem canceled. I though. object. Well, or in the court. What was that, sir? A Fifi is a fake prison pussy. <laughs> How would you know that? Excuse me? How would you know that? <laughs> Some of my clients don't always make it out the courtroom, so they asked me for a couple sponges, some cups, and some gloves. Anyway, long story short, that, that, that is the message. Stupid, that's what, that's what he calls his fans. Stupid, stupid, because they are, they're stupid. Your grandkids, all your grandkids' friends. <laughs> stupid, that's what, that's, 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 that's what you would like to ignore. See, it's not a problem until it reaches your doorstep. So you go to your grandson's graduation and all his hair is two different colors <laughs> all around. He look like a snow cone, but he black. So it don't even look right. He look like an upside down pineapple cake. <laughs> then it's gonna be a problem because you didn't choose to cancel and prosecute Takashi 69, who is a detriment to our society, our way of life and the art form that we have built. But what do I know? Don't move. Cancel Court will be right back. Another one is if you just own that damn video game all day. Oh, so you're gonna, uh, you're playing video games. It's the PS5. Everybody can't get one. Don't invite a girl over and be on the game the whole time. Like, what, what was the point of that? Did you want to see me or did you want to see the game and talk to your little friend? All you do is game all night. How do you expect me to be good? How do you expect me to get any good? People are in Hall of Fame 2K, and I can't, I can't even get an hour to myself. 
Yo, what up, though? This comedian CP, man. You watching Top exclusively on Defiant Digital. There was some evidence entered into the court docket that I found to be quite interesting. You speak on this man as being a detriment to society, but according to these facts that the court has received as evidence that is allowed and permissible, he donates money to Brooklyn schools. He also spoke to kids about self-confidence and following their dreams. He also handed out money in the Dominican Republic to children and the elderly. He also donated food to the homeless in Chicago, and he called out other rappers for not doing so in their communities. Your Honor, what can I ask you a question? What an awful person. What a awful How would you Can I ask you a question? Can I, per, for sure, absolutely. Sure, 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 oh sure, sure. Um, absolutely. Man, this country is built on giving. I remember there was a time in this country where uh, we had some friends, I, I believe we called them the Indians, um, and we gave them these blankets. <laughs> and, oops, the blankets had smallpox in them. And it wiped out a big, huge number of them. See, sometimes when people learn how blessings work, they can mimic a blessing. I've seen those videos, but you know why I've seen those videos? Because they're videos. Because they were done for me to see them, for you to see them. But let me give you another number, 7,000. That's how many people reportedly, and we don't even know this, Jay-Z and Beyonce bailed out of jail for Black Lives Matter riots. Yeah, we don't even know a number because they won't come forth and say it because true people who are about the community understand that why would you embarrass a homeless person by putting them on film, giving them money? Why would you walk into a school knowing what your reputation is, knowing what you are, who you are, the, the word 69, which means eating the pussy while you're getting your dicks up, if you're lucky. <laughs> and tell some goddamn kids to believe in yourself. Thank you. He's made some very disparaging comments about your client. My question to you is, Mr. Davis, is your client a rat? Does he work for the feds? Because according to the information that I've received, this is in a documentary he did called Supervillain. His former friend, member of the Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods, do you think Takashi 6 9 done anything for the culture? Mr. Ados simply responded, shaking his head, none. I can't name none. Mm -hmm. Not one. Who said it? This was his friend from the documentary Supervillain. OK. Uh, Billy A.D.O. He's one of the <laughs> nine trade gangster bloods. This man, they're calling my client a lot of things. <laughs> now this nigga is Thanos. He's a supervillain. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. What did he do for the culture? I don't understand why anybody would ask what he did, you know, for the culture, because my argument is he's not of the culture. Simply not. See, once again, we're trying to learn shit just to unlearn it later. Why do all that work, like go to Michigan State and lose to a nigga who dropped out of community college? <laughs> See, when you do extra work, <laughs> it's all for naught. You could have been eaten. <laughs> Instead of fighting other students for ramen. <laughs> I, you said that he was number one on the billboard. Uh, I would like to ask my opposition, who's number one on the billboard right now? You don't give a fuck. Because it doesn't matter. It didn't matter to anyone then, it doesn't matter to anyone now. But if we're gonna talk about success, and Takashi is supposedly this big musician, right? What music award was he nominated for? MTV. None. Um, <laughs> what one have you even seen him sitting in the audience at? None. Have you seen him perform at one? Not one. But he's the biggest artist in the game. Nigga, please. I, uh, <laughs> you know, to call your case laughable <laughs> would be an insult to jokes. <laughs> the defense rests. <laughs> wow, the defense needs to work out. It's been resting. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. As a matter of fact, we, we need to know that the defense is resting heart rate because <laughs> it's, 
seems as if they find a lot of solace in rest. <laughs> this nigga is incredible. So I don't expect you to be really in contact with what's going on in these streets. But, but what I will say this, your argument does not lead to anything other than uh, myself, and I'm sure the jury wanted to continue to cancel 6 ix 9 you have, you have never, ever spoke to anything that we've brought up about what he's done, his charges, anything that he's been guilty of. You've merely tried to wipe it under the rug and say, well, nobody knows who he is. But isn't that the problem, though? See, you don't know who he is until he's all of our problem. I think that my, uh, my opponent would even like to cancel him as well. He just pissed that he's on that side of the table. He has to defend such a scummy, scummy person. People like you, Councilman, who, um, you're a very smart guy and you get a lot of criminals off. And I want the, the, the jury to understand that, although the prosecution may not have all the answers, understand that for somebody to defend such a heinous criminal, what does that say about them? Well, Perhaps it is Ryan 6 9 <laughs> You're fucking killing me, and you know the nigga need to be canceled. <laughs> hey, brother, I just came to do a job. <laughs> Are these niggas about to fight? Cancel Court will be right back. Daredevil girl, defiance. Israel got me being defiant. I have a question for the defense, and, and this is something that I think will speak to our jurors to make a decision. It seems that could it be that society uh, created Mr. Six Nine? Uh, he's only done what society loves. I mean, you think about it, he has 24 million Instagram followers. Uh, could this be said that this type of behavior isn't Mr. 6 9 fault? He's just a product of his environment, <laughs> product of society at large. <laughs> Sounds like a victim to me, Your Honor. <laughs> Sounds like he's far from a supervillain, or whatever they wanted to call this nigga. Superhead. Yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> You see, society likes to create villains. That's great. You can villainize, um, what's his name? His, uh, what is his uh, real name? Not Takashi. Daniel but... Hernandez. You see how she didn't know? No <laughs> one <laughs> fucking knows. But look at it this way, right? This character that he is, right? This clownish character, right? I've already proved to you, not of the culture whatsoever, right? When you cancel somebody, what's the first thing they do when somebody gets canceled? Everybody who's worked with them comes out, says, I don't fuck with them no more. All the shit we've done together, I'm taking off. If they had TV shows like Bill Cosby, they take it off TV, all of that shit. What did they take from Takashi? Nothing. Because there was nothing to fucking take. <laughs> He was the biggest <laughs> rapper in the game, according to my opponent. <laughs> but nobody asked this nigga for a feature. Not one. <laughs> Just <laughs> go anywhere and type in featuring Takashi 69. It will say no results found. <laughs> but my opponent wants you to believe that canceling him will change the result of that <laughs> search. If you ask me, wasn't he canceled before we even started this shit? <laughs> Thank you, Yama. I, I got one quick question for you, oh, Mr. And make this fast, because we, we have to come to a verdict, because this is serious for the culture. 69, Takashi 69, tried to mock Little Nas X with a homophobic post, but was put on blast by the Old Town Road star by showing 69 had slid into his DM. This has to be alleged since this is your client, Mr. Mm -hmm. 69. It reads on February 16th, 2021 at 1257 AM. Damn. It says, quote from Takashi, gonna be in your city soon. What you doing? Question mark, laugh out loud, upside down, smiley face, red heart emoji. Could this be interpreted 
as flirting. Uh, some say that your client is looking for six to nine inches of pipe. What is your response? <laughs> to be completely honest with you, the personal life of my client is none of our business. <laughs> none of our business whatsoever. No, the, you know what's funny? You know who was number one on the billboard and who has a song everybody knows? Ooh. Lil Nas X, Old Town Road. You see how easy it is to just name somebody and the song that they fucking do when you fucking know them? <laughs> <laughs> when they're really number one on the billboard? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That DM is suspect as shit. <laughs> <laughs> At midnight, no less. <laughs> <laughs> I can't begin to tell you what my client was thinking. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not gonna ask him. That's fair. That's fair, thank you, Yana. Now, six to nine inches. <laughs> we will begin with our closing arguments. You have two minutes. Make it fast, Mr. CP because we know you can go on to Martin Luther King around and just start preaching. <laughs> Make it fast, all right, please, now, you. All right, now, go on and sponge your hair, Yana. Um, <laughs> y'all wanna hit your shit at the top one time to bring the curl full circle. Um, I got the attack today, trying to protect the community. Yeah. But we all know what it is. We all know what it is. Cause you gotta go. You gotta go, whether you know him or not, whether you know, you know, you, uh, I'm gonna throw a couple names on A Boogie with the hoodie. Uh, Nicki Minaj, people who have features with Takashi. As a matter of fact, she was ridiculed for working with Takashi, to which point she said... He paid for her to get on his song. No one asked him to get on their song. Uh, but continue. Uh, how broke you gotta be to jump on a nigga's song if you don't want to work with him for real? I don't think she would take money from you. I don't think you can rap as good as her or as good as him. But that's neither here nor there. My client doesn't even rap. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree with that. 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 This is cancel court. He needs to be canceled. Fruit flavored color hair. Uh, you know, snitch. Having sex with children. Putting it on his IG. It's like, bro, he has to go. And you know it. Anything, any, any defense other than that, your ass gonna be on trial next. The conclusion of the trial of Takashi 69 when cancel court returns. Make sure y'all check out Food Fights on Define Digital. Ooh. Mr. Ryan Davis, please proceed with your closing statement. Today was a uh, interesting day, to say the least. I just want to leave the jury with this. Also, you judge. Thank you. Um, you got an email, right, that said that your credit card from Joe's rig check was canceled. And you go, what the fuck is Joe's rib check? <laughs> you would automatically assume that someone That's opened funny, an man. account in your name. Your Honor, so the, the, the defense is saying that if he yourself got a crab leg order, <laughs> You would not look into yourself to see if there was some type of drunk crab leg night that you forgot about? You need a better example? Please I'll give you, you a better example. You, I need a better example, please. Okay. Let's say you're out on a date. Right. And then a woman approaches you and goes, CP, I'm so tired of the way that you treat me. It's over. And you've never seen this woman a day in your life. How she look? Would you take the time? to break up with her right then? 
Or would you say, bitch, I don't know you. If she look good, I might want to get I back with her. I don't remember being with you. I might get back with her. Nobody cancels subscriptions that they never subscribe to. That's foolish. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's asking you to do today. If y'all want to go ahead and subscribe to some shit that you wasn't even going to look at anyway, just to get up the next day to cancel it, then that's on you. You will be looking just as foolish as my opponent has looked throughout this case. It's going to look even worse when they edit it. <laughs> <laughs> what did we remember today? Hmm? What did we remember? Hmm? Is, are the jurors allowed to speak? Yes. What is my client's government name? Exactly. <laughs> We've said it 10 times today, and no one gave a fuck. Even if you decide to cancel him, y'all won't even know what the fuck to write in to cancel it. You'll have to ask somebody, who are we canceling, just to cancel him. And don't we all just want to go home? <laughs> The defense rests, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Davis, for that eloquent closing statement. That concludes this case. Now it's in the hands of the jury. As you all have heard, both the prosecution, which is by Mr. CP, and the defense, represented by Mr. Ryan Davis, presented their evidence in their case. The defense, Mr. Ryan Davis, says that Takashi 6 9 is absolutely meaningless because he's a no one. On the other side, you have the prosecution who's saying that Mr. Takashi 69, aka Daniel Hernandez, is an endangerment to society. He's an endangerment to the hip hop community. And it's time to cancel him completely. It's up to you to decide. All those in favor of canceling Takashi 69, aka Daniel Hernandez, say aye by raising your right hand. Aye. All those in favor of not canceling Takashi 69, raise your right hand and say nay. The jury has come to a conclusion, and that conclusion is as follows. As the judge of this court, I am hereby, by the people, by the prosecution, by the people of this court, canceling Takashi 6 9 yes. It is so ordered. Your Honor, may I ask the jury, now that they've canceled them, what changes they'll be making? Well, uh, the jury decided that they didn't want to go straight home, that they want to go home and follow this nigga and learn about this nigga just so they can unfollow this nigga <laughs> and unlearn everything about this nigga. Uh, my opponent sent them home with homework and they decided to do that while he goes and eats shrimp. Now y'all saw what it was, man. The jury today were probably one of the most smartest juries I've ever seen. He said that this was a smart jury. I would disagree. Um, they're within earshot. No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If we had an opportunity to cancel somebody before they became a huge detriment, i.e. a Hitler, i.e. Uh, Donald Trump, i.e. anybody like that, cancel them before they become a huge problem, that's a win for society, a win for us. So I'm gonna go get some shrimp. Uh, I, I know Ryan gonna be there because it's shrimp. So, you know, uh, bottom line, we understand what this means to the rap community and to just the black community in general. It's not for us, it's for the kids. That's some bullshit. <laughs>